this new feature called previews from Poe is pretty impressive. So it just came out. Uh, so I want to test it out. I want to first show you what the heck this is, how to use it, but also how does it compare to Claude Anthropic's new artifacts feature? All right. So we're going to be jumping into all of this. I'm extremely excited. So if you're new here, this is our AI in five. My name is Jordan. I host Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast, free daily newsletter, helping everyday people like you and me learn and leverage generative AI. So we do an AI in five almost every single day. Um, and teaching you an AI tool tip trick. So let's just go straight in. Here's the example that I started with, right? Um, so let's just do this from scratch. So this just came out uh, literally within the last 24 hours, and I'm gonna show you how to use it. So I'm gonna first start by giving you a very brief overview of uh, Poe. I actually don't think I've reviewed Poe, so if you want more on Poe, just let me know in the comments. I don't know how many people use it, but there are actually some great benefits, and I might start using it more with this new previews feature. All right, so uh, in general, you can use different models. All the different models are here. Depending on if you have a free plan or a limited, uh, a free plan or a paid plan is going to depend on how uh, which of these models you can use. So I'm just going to use uh, the general purpose assistant bot. All right, and I'm going to start with, let me go ahead and resize this there. So I'm going to use, and I'm going to zoom in here. This is the actual prompt that uh, Poe used in their demo video. I always like using what they use to see if it actually works as advertised. So at Everyday AI, we never just take what companies tell us and give it to you. We always test it, investigate it first. So uh, it says, I'd love to learn more about gravity. Please create a beautiful interactive flashcard dashboard via HTML5 that would help me learn about the most about the most 20 critical concepts to understand gravity. Uh, these flashcards should be double-sided with the topic on one side and the information on the other. Make it beautiful. Please provide all of the code in one file. All right, so then you'll see here is this new previews feature. So, uh, wow, okay, that was pretty quick, right? Uh, so now all of a sudden we have these really cool flashcards. Uh, so I can, as an example, I can launch this kind of in its own tab. And then you'll see. So it looks like though it's only three, right? So I can have a conversation and I can say, uh, you know, this only gave me three. Please give me all 20 and please make them more colorful, right? So the great thing I think about generative AI and large language models that people overlook is you can talk to them iteratively. So unlike a Google search or unlike if you're talking to Siri or Alexa, it doesn't have context of your previous conversations, but obviously large language models do. So just with very simple uh, text, natural language prompts, hopefully we can get all 20 of those flashcards and maybe to make them more colorful. So you'll see this new uh, previews feature from Poe just crunching all of this, right? Going pretty quickly. Uh, and like we said, it's asking for uh, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript all in one file to be able to learn it. So the first iteration I think worked pretty well. So let's just go ahead and look at the second iteration here. Pretty good, right? So I could in theory grab this code, put it on my website. Pretty nice, right? Out of the box, couple seconds. Uh, it's it's actually it's actually pretty impressive what AI can do. All right, so now let's just very quickly compare it to uh, Claude's new Anthropic feature. So if you haven't seen this new Anthropic feature uh, called Artifacts, I mean, here it is. It kind of does the same thing, right? Um, so here's some of the different ones that we did. So I want to do this one. So I'm just going to grab this same prompt, uh, but I'm just going to change it and say using uh, Pose Previews. So what I did uh, for this is I uploaded a spreadsheet with 16,000 data points. It's all of our YouTube videos, and I'm asking it to create a um, basic dashboard. So I haven't tried this yet. We're doing it live. So let's see if, uh, if Poe can do this. So what I might do here, I might switch it up. All right. So, uh, and this is one of the benefits I think, so I can use Claude, right? So I can use Claude and actually do this, uh, but it can still use Poe's previews functionality, I believe. Well, let's try it out anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and upload this, uh, this information, there we go. And let's see if it works. So here I'm using Claude 3.5 Sonnet as the base model, but I'm going to be using the previews feature um, of Poe because a lot of these, you know, um, 
When you're using a third-party platform like Poe, you only get the base model. You don't get the additional features and functionality that that model contains. So as an example, if I were to use GPT-4.0 in Poe, I would not get the Browse with Bing features and functionality. All right, so let's see if this works with Poe's preview uh, mode and how it compares uh, to Anthropic's artifacts. So again, we're using the Anthropic model to do the... Uh, kind of the analysis, but we are using, or maybe, I don't even know if it'll work, but we are going to use Pose Previews functionality to create the actual dashboard. So let's see how it looks. It's actually not bad. So uh, pretty good, uh, pretty straightforward, actually a lot of good data here. So let's just try one thing. Let's just say, I'm going to say uh, using Po Previews, please make this same dashboard more interactive and make it in dark mode. So we'll see if this works, but hey, at least by default, uh, it did a pretty pretty decent job here of creating a video performance dashboard pretty quickly and it just works, right? And then I could you know, copy and paste that code, put it on uh, my website. Uh, so let's see how it does. Uh, making something a little more interactive because that's what I really liked uh, with this um, this one in Claude, and I'll try to link that video here in the description. Uh, but it really was great at making uh, interactive uh, dashboards, right? So um, let's see. Let's jump back into Poe and see how it's going to do. So uh, pretty, it's it's going a little bit slower, right, than Claude three five does out of the out of the gate. Um, again, using a third party, it's always going to be a little slower. So we're technically using Claude 3.5 Sonnet via a third party application in Poe. And then we're taking all of that data and then we're using the Poe previews. Uh, so let's just take a look. Oh, okay. I like it. So it's not as interactive. There's some hover effects, not bad. Uh, so the toggle light dark doesn't work. I'm sure we could get it to work with a little back and forth, but I mean, overall, Pretty impressive uh, for this brand new feature from Poe. Not bad. So I hope this was helpful. Let me know if it was. More importantly, go to youreverydayai.com. Sign up for that free daily newsletter. Join us on a live stream podcast and read that newsletter. We'd appreciate it. Let me know if this was helpful. Subscribe to this channel and I'll see you for our next AI in five. Thanks, y'all.